Hi, Mindy Paul here. First of all, I just wanna make sure that you and your families are doing well, you're safe and you're healthy. Now there's a lot of stuff going on out there right now. It's it is really crazy um, the time that we're seeing. This is a part of history, you know, hundreds of years in time, they're gonna be writing about, you know, what it must have been like for us to be here. Just like we look at the Victorian times, you know, wondering what it must have been um, to, to, be, to be in them times. So today I wanna to talk to you, number one, about attitude. Attitude is so important. Look, we can't control what's going on out there. You know, there's lots of stuff going on out there. We can't control that. But the one thing that we can control is what's going on inside you know, our minds, what we're thinking. Now you can't allow anyone else to get into your mind and control you. You're in charge of you, no one else is. If you're watching lots of social media, you're in watching the news and stuff, and yeah, you know, all that stuff is negative. News is normally negative. If that's you right now, you want to make a decision that you're not gonna, you're gonna, you like, we need to know what's happening out there, right? But we don't want to infuse ourselves with that. That's a dominating thought in our mind. That's all we think about because that's enough to drive you crazy. Now, in times like this, your attitude is going to de determine whether you come out the other end in a positive way or a negative way. Now, Napoleon Hill, who wrote the book Think and Grow Rich, interviewed like 500 of the most successful people in the world. And they all agreed on many, many principles. And one of the things was that Napoleon Hill said, in every adversity, there's an equal amount of opportunity. Now, yes, there's going to be lots of people that have lost a lot right now. OK, but on the other hand, there's always going to be some a lot of people that are going to achieve a lot more. Now, we're not talking about secret organisations or speculations and stuff. We're talking about people like you and me. OK, everyday people. Now, they will accomplish a lot more. So it's down to their attitude. It's down to their attitude, the whole of the situation. There's always good and bad in everything. Nothing's all good. It's good and bad. There was once a, a guy named um, Clint W. Clement Stone. He was uh, mentored by Napoleon Hill and he became, became the richest person in America. Now, everything that went wrong, he was delivered some bad news and he would always say, he'd always say well, that's good. That's good. You know, he could have lost a hundred million dollars. And his response would always be, well, that's good. Now, sometimes it's really hard when you're in that in that in that place to think that's, you know, find a good in stuff. I, I just recently lost one of my closest friends and, you know, it's very hard to find the good in that. Very hard. But you've got to have a, a, more, a more positive outlook on life. Otherwise, it will consume you. It will finish you or delete you. It will literally kill you, make you ill. So number two is you really want to focus your attention on something that you do want. Now, just imagine... You're a gardener. Maybe you're not a gardener. Maybe you've got a garden, okay? And you go plant some, I don't know, so let's say tomatoes into that garden, okay? You make the soil nice and whatever you do with it, you dig up all the weeds, and then you plant the seeds to these lovely tomatoes. And when you're planting these seeds, right, you will have an image that pops up in your mind of what that tomato plant's gonna look like with the ripened red tomatoes hanging off the green leaves. So you'll think about that. So what you're gonna go and do is you're gonna start to nourish that plant. You're gonna start to water it take care of it and you know every day you might go and see oh has it has as the um root uh, the 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 i don't know what they're called shoot through the, the leaves or whatever you want to call them I'm not garden as you can see so has it started to like come through the plant is it starting to shed life and then as soon as you see, see the green leaves and stuff you're like oh look it's growing it's growing you, you see that excitement and then what happens you carry on watering it over a couple of weeks two three weeks and all of a sudden something happens Something really bad happens and you just lose a plot and you just go into the garden, you're really angry, you're frustrated and you pull out the, the, the tomato plant and you chuck it away. What's happened there is you'll kill that creation. Now, you've probably been working towards something in your life. Maybe you want to improve certain areas of your life. Maybe you're looking to get your dream house, you're looking to take your business to the next level. And with all this stuff that's happened right now, it's starting to like affect your mindset. Now, all the good that you've been working towards, what do you do with that? Would you say, well, forget it? What's the point? Of course you don't. You say, okay, well, I'm going to fix my shit. I'm going to hold my mind together and I'm going to keep myself focused on the end, the good that I desire. That's what the winners do. So it's very important that you don't take your eye off what it is that you want. You don't take your eye of what you were focusing on before COVID-19 hit, unless it's, unless it's negative. But you really want to start to think about, look, we're going to be out this soon. It's not going to last forever. Nothing bad lasts forever. What am I going to do? How am I going to equip myself to get out the other end? How am I going to protect myself and my family? What am I going to do differently this time around? So, you know, if this ever happened again, I'm in a much more better financial situation. How do you want to be? You know, you've got to, you've got to prepare. You've got to prepare yourself to achieve more. We don't want to be going back to that same routine that we were in. 
Okay, you want to go in there with that attitude, right? When this pandemic ends, you want to go in with an attitude that, you know what, F this. I'm not going to stand for what I was standing for before. I stand for something different because I have one life and I'm not going to let anybody take my life away from me. I'm not going to let anybody control what I'm doing now. Think of this as, as, as we're in a prison right now. Think of this as we've been locked up in our own homes. Just imagine a prisoner, you know, been locked up for like 20 years. And, and they're thinking about, you know, that one day I want to get out, you know, I've wasted my life now. I want to make something of myself. I want to do something with myself. That's the attitude you've got to have. You've got to think, all right, I'm going to go back to my norm, to my life. I'm going to have that freedom. I'm going to be unlocked from this household. They're going to let me out. They're going to lift the curfew. Now, what am I going to do when I get out? Go back to that same old boring routine that I was in? Same old business and same level of income? Same lifestyle? No. You've got to say, this is it. This is my freedom. I'm going to do, have and be more. I'm going to find a way of making that happen. You've got to really think about this. This is a wake up call because none of us see this coming. It's just crazy. How, how can this happen? Just just think, how can the whole world get locked down? You know, they're saying it started off in, in a small, I'm not going to go into the conspiracy theories. They're saying it started off in some small town in China. But wherever it started, that's, that's not that's not that's not important. That's not relevant. What's irrelevant is that what's happened today and where we are today. I'm sat at my house in my office. OK, having to work from home. I'm lucky I can work from home. There's people out there that have their income taken away from them. The, you know, the, the whole lifestyle has been taken away from them. And especially if that's you that's affected you, you know, how can you protect yourself from this happening to you again? What changes can you make in your thinking that's going to help you never ever to get caught out like this? Look at how many other businesses that you could get involved with. If you just currently run a, a business that relies on you being there, can you do something online where the money keeps on coming in, where it keeps on rolling? Can you provide a service? Like what I'm doing now, I'm helping people. I'm in the business of helping people. And I've never been busier. I've got more and more people reaching out to me. Um, you know, this is a situation I've got. How do I deal with this? And look, I'm I'm very fortunate, okay, because um, I'm in that industry. Why? Because I made a choice that I was going to change my life. I was too fed up of living this, uh, an average life because I knew I was capable of doing so much more. And so are you. And so is everybody else out there. But it starts with a decision. You can't just, you know, do the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. It's not going to happen. What are you going to do? When that front door unlocks to your house and where you can actually step out and go back into your freedom, what are you going to do differently? Think about it. What regrets do you have that you didn't do? You know, was it something that you were thinking about doing, working with, or starting something? Maybe you've had a phone call with myself in the past and, you know, you didn't make the commitment that you were going to get coached by me. And now you're thinking, you know what, I wonder what it would have been like if I began working with Mindy or anybody else. I'm not the only coach or mentor out there. There's some plenty of people out there, plenty of amazing people out there. But what you want to do is get somebody that can show you how to improve your life. I'm working with the best in the world, Bob Proctor. You know, there's no one better than him. And since I've began working with Bob and his information and applying what he's taught me, I've achieved more, more than I, more than I achieved in 10 years I've done in three months. And I'm not just on about monetary wise, I'm on about in all areas. But you've got to take direction from somebody that knows what they're talking about. Think about it. What are you going to do differently? You know, maybe you don't know what you're going to do. Maybe just have no idea. Well, that's OK. But it's not OK if you're going to stay in that same position. It's not OK if you're going to carry on that same way. It's not OK. It's not OK. Because, look, you can do so much more than you, than you, than you want to do. I can do so much more than I want to do. I'm not just criticising you and I'm not criticising it by all means. I'm just making a point here. I can do so much more. Now, this has woken me up. And this has opened up my mind about all the stuff that I want to do and what I'm going to do, what I'm doing now. I want to grow. I want to help more people. I want to see more people succeed. My clients, I want to see them succeed even more. And look, we've got opportunities all around us. Okay, We've just got to be tuned to them. We've got to be we've got to start programming our subconscious minds to find these opportunities. Because why is it that you see some people that ain't smart at all and yet their results are phenomenal? I couldn't get this because I used to always class myself as somebody that's really smart, good ideas, and yet my results didn't match what my what I actually believed about myself. Really interesting. So look, it's going to all open up in hopefully not too long right now. I want you to really make a decision, you know, that you're going to change. Don't just watch this video and thinking, yeah, you're right, Mindy. Yeah, it's time to change. Then you go back to eating a Mars bar and just forget what this video is about. Make a decision that you're going to, you're not going to get... You're not going to be in this position again. OK, you're going to do more from your life. Even if you were already a high achiever, what's the next step? 
Okay, because it never stops. We're, we're all about creation. We're all about growing. So you've got to keep on growing. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, you've got to keep on growing. Whatever growth is to you, whether it's money, whether it's helping more people, whether it's setting up another charity, whatever it is to you, grow what growing means. Okay, growth isn't just about finance. It isn't just about money. It's in other areas of your life. So now I'm really helping people that are in business, especially right now, you know, people's mindsets are all over the place. Lots of uncertainty out there. You know, they're, they're, their focus is there, there, there. It's everywhere but the road ahead. And that's where I come in. That's where I help people to really start to channel their energy and start to apply the laws of abundance and attraction to attract them what they need. Because it will get better. And you want to be make you want to make sure that you're in that position to take advantage of whatever opportunity show up, rather than spending another three years adjusting to the freedom that we we're, we're all going to start to experience soon. So on that note, I really want to wish you all the best, and I want to encourage you to go for your dreams. I want you to really doesn't matter what's happened in the past. It does not matter what somebody said about you. It doesn't matter if you haven't got the money or you haven't got the or you think you haven't got the time. It doesn't matter. All it takes is a decision. Can make a decision that you want to change. Allow this to be a lesson. Okay, I've been in that hospital bed. I've been given that 48 hours where they said, look, Mindy, you know, your next 48 hours, you could be gone. And I knew that if I had that one more chance, I knew exactly what I was going to do. And I'm doing that. So treat this like, treat this like, you know, it's like kind of the edge of the world. We're hanging off, but it's not, we're not going to fall off. This is just a little roller coaster that we're going up and going around. Okay, it's not gonna, you're not going to drop off. Hold in there, stick in there. Take care of your mindset. Be focused. Be Hold that hunger to what you want. And every day, take a small step every day. Work towards that. You don't have to worry about how you're going to get there. Take one little step at a time. Work one day at a time. Don't focus on tomorrow. Focus on what you can do right here, right now. As soon as you watch this video, think of what one thing you can do, whether it's a good book that you can read and start taking actions. Whether it's something that you, you know you should be doing and you're not doing it. You know, you know, look, most people know what they should be doing and they're not doing it. What is that for you? What is that? Get to work on that and reach out. If there's anything I can do for you, if you've got any questions for me, please send us a message. You know, send me a message on here. You can email me at mindy at mindypool.com. I read all my emails, so I, I do get back to people. It might take me a little longer, but I do. I always make a habit of getting back to people. So listen. I really want to thank you for watching this video. I'd love for you to share, subscribe, like and invite other people into this this powerful content that we got. And, you know, we've got to really help people, other people around us. We've got to, you know, build that tight community around us. Mindset so important right now. And it's not just about positive thinking. It goes way deeper. So anyway, I'm going to say thank you very much for, for listening. And I was, I was only intending this video to be for about a minute and a half. But, you know, sometimes you have something on the inside that just got to come out. It's got to express. So... I expressed it. So anyway, have an awesome day and stay safe and I hope to hear from you soon. Take care.